So welcome to your 15th Visual Basic tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to build a basic login form that you put in the username and the password and if you got it correct then it will navigate you to another form. So in Visual Basic they have got a pre-built template form and you can get to that by pressing add new item and scrolling down for login form this one here and you can just create that one and build it in the same way as I'm doing it but you just need to put it into those text boxes that it's already built in there but I'm going to be building it from scratch and I'd recommend you to as well so just click on the form and just change the text to login to continue and just resize it a little bit to fit our needs and put a label and this label is going to be called well the text is going to be username copy this paste it and change the text of this one to password so like that and now if you just put a text box just put it underneath the username and just move that like that lay it out however you want so that's how I'm going to lay it out and then just put two buttons button one is going to be the um, login button and button two is going to be the cancel button so resize the form again to fit the size and first we're just going to do the cancel button so here just do me dot height dot close sorry to completely close it and delete any text that's already in there so that's the cancel button done and this is textbox one and this is textbox two which you can see down here so just double click on the login button to see its code so button one click and and in here what we're going to do is if so we're doing an if statement if text box one dot text equals and then here you put the username so I'm gonna put Neil and text box two dot text equals password with a capital P and again you put the password in there then end if it should automatically put the end if so basically what we're saying here is if text box one is text is nil and so they both have to be true and text box two dot text is password then do this so basically they both have to be true in order for it for this to occur for this to happen so here we're just going to put form two dot show and we need to create form two so just add a new item and scroll down to Windows Form and it should be Form 2 already and now this sh should be not underlined anymore so hopefully that blue squiggly line is gone so no errors then underneath, it, underneath this we're going to do else so if they put the password and username wrong then message box message box dot show and the text is going to be wrong username slash password combination so like that so now if we run this and in here we put new and password and one thing to note is that it's not doing the black dots so it's not hiding your password which we will sort out now so just press login and form two shows and if I put low in there something random and press login wrong username slash password combination so now to get the black dots so that our password doesn't show and then just click on this password text box and scroll down and it should be use system password characters and set that to true now if we run this 
and we type in new there and we put password it's actually hidden so you can't see it and when we press cancel that just closes it all so now another thing to notice is that when form 2 loaded it uh, the login form was still there so we need to stop that from happening so do form 1 go to the form 1 code and here we're just going to put if it's true then it's going to do me dot hide as you know do me dot close so that uh, the tick boxes are cleared and go up to hit project and then windows application one properties and then um, set the shutdown mode to when last form closes so what that is going to do is it's going to stop it from like if we were to not do that then as soon as as soon as the first form is closed then all of the forms are going to close and that's not what we want so that should be when last form closes so now close that and run this and now I've put the username as Neil password as password and press login you see that login box is gone form 2 is open and it's staying open it's not closing straight away so that's how to build a basic login form in visual basic don't forget to comment rate and subscribe if you found this useful and in the next tutorial i'm going to be teaching how to use settings and with settings what we'll be able to do is create a login form and we can change the password of it or the username and we can have like a registration form. So thank you for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.